Dr. Kathy, what's your best advice on acceptance for the betrayed to heal and move forward? Six months since D-Day and this is my biggest struggle. Hi, yes, acceptance is a big, big struggle. And so let's talk about what acceptance is and what it's not. First, acceptance is not, you know, saying that the affair or the infidelity was okay. It's not saying that it was no big deal. It's not saying I forgive. It's not saying I forget. It's none of those. Acceptance is basically, you know, okay, it happened. That this is part of my story. And it sucks that this is part of my story. I never wanted this. This is horrible. I hate this. But it's just part of my story. It's not the whole story. And it's not my fault. I did not, you know, do anything to cause this. I didn't deserve this. I didn't do anything wrong. But now here it is, and I have to figure out a way to move forward from this, given that this is part of reality. The best way to think about the affair, I think, and the best way to maybe move towards acceptance, and you don't have to get there in one fell swoop. You don't have to just decide, okay, I accept this and I make peace with it. Just chip away at it. But I think the best way to think about it is to say, my partner was in emotional pain, and that emotional pain, you know, started way before they ever met me. And that pain has grown in time. It didn't have anything to do with me directly. And they chose a very unhealthy, inappropriate painkiller to treat that pain. And that painkiller was the affair. So maybe looking at it that way will help you feel better about it and move closer to acceptance. Let me know how that works for you. Big hugs.